when you're unpacking and setting up a new fridge or actually any fridge, you want the fridge level towards the back so that it drains towards the back if you have uh, condensation drips or anything like that. You want everything to drain into the pan and the other side of it is that you want to level the fridge so that the fridge doors close on their own. This particular model fridge, it's got these feet you can see under here. Um, I kind of started to arrange this this side but you can see how much it rocks and how much I can lift it up here if I pull up on it. What I'm going to do is just lift it up and then turn the feet until they seat well enough uh, on the floor and the fridge doesn't rock when we move it around. Uh, so I moved it here and it's not rocking anymore. The other side of adjusting it is if we want the uh, fridge door to close on its own. That way we get a good tight seal. Here we go. I'm going to let it go and see what happens. And that's pretty good. That's, that's about what we want for the fridge door. This is the nice new fridge here. I still got to put the handles on, which is pretty easy. This model's pretty easy. You can see all my big old mess of packing material over there. And they sure do use a lot of tape when they ship these fridges out. Here you can see little bits of tape residue that I'll have to come back later and clean off. But anyway, the important thing is leveling the fridge. Another thing is if you have cleaners clean or if you're cleaning, you want to clean these gaskets every once in a while. That'll keep the fridge alive a lot longer along these edges. Anything that's sticky there, juice or anything like that, uh, it's going to stick against the door and that'll prematurely wear the gasket out if we leave it there. So cleaning those every so often is just good maintenance to keep everything working good. My freezer. There's my fridge handles I got to put on. Yeah, I'm almost done here. Alright, here's my finished fridge with my handles on. 